In this video, we'll be learning how to determine whether or not the rational functions looking like f of x equals to a over cx plus d and f of x equals to ax plus b over cx plus d increase or decrease. Now, what we mean by this is when working with rational functions, quite typically, if I make a very rough sketch here, the rational function's curve will either decrease, so it will look like this, or we have rational functions which increase, which look something like this. And now to convince yourselves that these are decreasing and increasing, you can run your finger along the length of each curve and you'll see that if you run your finger along this red curve, your finger is always going downwards. On the other hand, if you were to do the same on this blue curve, you'll see that your finger is always moving upwards. That's an increasing rational function, whereas the red curve is a decreasing rational function. Now, we'll need to be able to determine this in order to make proper sketches of these curves. And that's exactly what we're going to be learning how to do in this tutorial. Now, let's get started. We'll start with the basic rational function, which is here. f of x equals to a over cx plus d. Now, the rule is the following. If a and c are of equal sign, meaning, for instance, if they're both positive or if they're both negative, then the curve decreases. Otherwise, if A and C are of opposite sign, meaning one of them is positive whilst the other one is negative, then the curve increases. And it's as simple as that. That's the rule you want to make sure you make a note of. And in fact, I'll just sort of box this rule here. Okay, now let's look at an example. Let's say we're given the function f of x equals to 2 over 3x minus 9. And we're asked to determine whether or not this function's curve increases or decreases. Well, comparing this to our generic rational function at the top here, we can see that in this case a is equal to 2 and c, which is the number multiplying x, equals to 3. These are both positive. And this means that they are both the same sign. Therefore, this curve decreases. So the curve y equals to 2 over 3x minus 9 decreases. And we've already learned how to find this type of functions horizontal and vertical asymptotes. We'll just quickly remind us of the, the values here. Um, the horizontal asymptote in this case will be the x-axis, so I'll just draw that here. Its horizontal asymptote will be the line with equation y equals to 0. And its vertical asymptote can be found by equating the denominator, 3x minus 9, to 0. And if we do that, we'll find that it has a vertical asymptote when x equals to 3. So we'll have its vertical asymptote here at x equals to 3. And now, since we know that the curve decreases, we can draw its curve. And it should look, if you do it with your graphical calculator, or even if you try sketching it, it should look something like this. And there you go. So now that we know how to find how, whether or not one of these curves decreases, you should see that we're much more able to make a quick sketch of it. 
Now, let's look at another example. Consider the following function, f of x equals to negative 5 over 2x plus 4. And again, we're going to determine whether or not this rational function's curve increases or decreases. Well, once more, this is a simple type of rational function, looking like a over cx plus d, and so we can determine whether or not it increases or decreases by looking at the sign of a and c. That was, remember, we are comparing this to f of x equals to a over cx plus d, so we can see here that a equals to negative 5, and c is equal to 2. Now, since a and c are of opposite signs, indeed one of them is positive, but the other one is negative, this means that the curve increases. Right, and on top of that, we know how to find the horizontal asymptote. In this case, it is the x-axis, in other words, the line with equation y equals to 0, which I'll just draw here on our grid. So that's our horizontal asymptote. It's the line with equation y equals to 0. And its vertical asymptote is found by equating the denominator to 0. So if, actually, let's actually solve that. If we equate that to 0, 2x plus 4 equals to 0, leading us to 2x equals to negative 4, leading us to x equals to negative 4 over 2, leading us to x equals to negative 2. So the equation of the vertical asymptote is x equals to negative 2. So I'll just add that to our x, y grid here, which I'm adding now along the line x equals to negative 2. And now, since we know that the curve increases, we can quickly make a sketch of it. It should look something like this. Remember, it never crosses the asymptotes, so once the asymptotes are there and we know that it increases, it's quite easy to sketch. And if you draw this, or plot this, I should say, with your calculator, you should see that it will look something like this. Now, for the moment, don't worry too much of the value at which it cuts the y-axis. We'll be learning that later on. Okay, now let's look at some slightly more complicated examples. We now consider rational functions looking like this. f of x equals to ax plus b over cx plus d. And I'll just box that here. Now, the rule in this case is slightly more complicated, but there's a formula, a very convenient formula, which is definitely worth memorizing. And that rule is the following. The first thing we do is we calculate the following, AD minus BC. And quite simply, if AD minus BC is greater than zero, then the curve will increase. And if AD minus BC is less than zero, then the curve will decrease. And again, I'll just box that result there. Now, it's not too tricky a formula to memorize. If you simply say it a few times, you'll probably remember it. Now, let's see how it works with an example. So, example three, consider the following. We're given f of x equals to 5x plus 1 minus 5x minus 10. And again, we're going to determine whether or not this function's curve increases or decreases. Well, now, comparing this to our generic function at the top here, we can see that a equals to 5, b equals to 1, c equals to 5, and d equals to negative 10. So ad minus bc equals to 5 times negative 10 minus 1 times 5. That's equal to negative 50 
minus 5, which equals to negative 55. And since negative 55 is less than 0, the curve decreases. And there you have it. And so to sketch the curve, let's just quickly determine its horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Now its horizontal asymptote, remember, will have the equation y equals to a over c. So in this case, that would be 5 over 5 equals to 1. So I'll just draw that on our xy grid here. It has a horizontal asymptote at y equals to 1. And its vertical asymptote will be at the value of x at which the denominator, 5x minus 10, would potentially equal to 0. So 5x minus 10 equals to 0 leads us to 5x equals to 10, which leads us to x equals to 10 over 5, leading us to x equals to 2. So it has a vertical asymptote with equation x equals to 2. So I'm just drawing that here. And since the curve decreases, we can quickly make a sketch of this, remembering that it never crosses its asymptotes. And if you do this with your graphical calculator, you should find that it looks something like this. And there you go. That's how you determine whether or not this type of rational function increases or decreases. Let's look at another example. Now consider the following function. f of x equals to 2x minus 3 over x plus 3. And once more we'll determine whether or not this function's curve increases or decreases and we'll make a quick sketch of it. So we can see that this is a rational function of the type f of x equals to ax plus b over cx plus d. And so comparing these two, we can see that a equals to 2, b equals to negative 3, c equals to 1, and d equals to 3. So we calculate a, d, minus bc to determine whether or not it increases or decreases. So ad minus bc will equal to 2 times 3 minus negative 3 times 1. That equals to 6 minus negative 3, which equals to 6 plus 3, which equals to 9. And since 9 is greater than 0, the curve increases. Okay, but now let's quickly determine the equations of its horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Well, its horizontal asymptote will equal to a over c, so in this case that's equal to 2 over 1, which is simply equal to 2, so that's y equals to 2. And its vertical asymptote is determined by determining the value of x at which the denominator equals to 0. So, of course, if we solve this simple equation x plus 3 equals to 0, we find that the vertical asymptotes equation is x equals to negative 3. So let's just add those asymptotes on our xy grid here. The horizontal asymptote was y equals to 2, which I'm drawing now. Its vertical asymptote was x equals to negative 3. So I'll just draw that vertical line here x equals to negative 3. And now since this curve increases, we can go ahead and draw that increasing curve, making sure it doesn't cut the asymptotes. So it should look something like this. And it will carry on up there. And if you draw this with your calculator, you should find that it should look something like this. And there you go. And once again, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Do not worry too much about the values at which it cuts the x and y axis. We'll be learning that later on. OK, now let's look at one final example. 
Now, consider the function f of x equals to 2x over 3x minus 9. Now, the first thing to realize here is that although it may look slightly different, this rational function is still of the type f of x equals to ax plus b over cx plus d. And indeed, if we compare these two functions, we notice that a equals to 2, but b equals to 0. And there's nothing wrong with that. If a number isn't there, it simply means that it's equal to 0. c is equal to 3, and d is equal to negative 9. And so to determine whether or not this function's curve increases or decreases, as always, we calculate AD minus BC, which will equal to 2 times negative 9 minus 0 times 3. And this, of course, leads us to negative 18 minus 0, which is equal to negative 18. And since negative 18 is negative or less than 0, the curve decreases. And so we quickly determine the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of this function's curve. The horizontal asymptote, remember, is y equals to a over c. So in this case, that's 2 over 3, or simply y equals to 2 thirds. And the vertical asymptote, we determine its equation by finding the value of x at which the denominator equals to 0. So if we solve 3x minus 9 equals to 0, we find 3x equals to 9, leading us to x equals to 9 thirds, leading us to x equals to 3. So we know that this function decreases, it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals to 2 thirds, and a vertical asymptote at x equals to 3. So let's draw the asymptotes first. y equals to 2 thirds is roughly here. So that's the horizontal line with equation y equals to 2 thirds. The vertical asymptote at x equals to 3, which I'm drawing now. And finally, we know that this curve decreases and it will therefore look something like this. And there you go. Now we've learned how to determine whether or not a rational function's curve increases or decreases.